What's up, YouTube? I'm Mr. Ferguson, and this, that's my lock. Hey YouTubers, it's Mr. Ferguson here. Welcome back to Central North Carolina. Hope you guys have had an awesome uh, Friday. Um, hope you've enjoyed the last couple videos. Um, today, we are going to get to work. We've done a lot of talking. Uh, we've done a whole lot of talking with tripods and things of that nature. We need to get our hands a little dirty. And that's kind of what we're gonna do today. I'm filming this uh, about almost 10 days early uh, on Labor Day Saturday. There's a lot of football going on right now. Just had decent lunch. Need to get outside in the lawn. And we went to Lowe's today. Um, the first thing I wanna mention is I took my own advice. I got one of these off-brand, non-Jonathan Green uh, soil pH uh, test kit. So we may show that at the end of the video, so stay tuned. Um, but we went by Lowe's as well and picked up, I picked up a few bags of topsoil. And we've got our old friend over here that we're used to. You know this guy. If I remember the guy from um, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer that throws it in the ice. What I've been searching for all my life, I've struck it rich! And licks it, yeah, I'm not going to do that because that's disgusting and that's dirt. But uh, we're going to do some work today. So uh, as you guys saw in the very um, intro of the video, um, we're going to go up here and I'm going to turn the camera the opposite way because iPhone made it to where you can't do it while you're still recording. And um, we're going to talk about right here up at my bank. So for those that are new to the channel or it's first time you're tuning in, hey, I appreciate it. Uh, hit the subscribe button if interested. We've got some fusillade action still going on. We've got the areas down here we glyphosated and uh, it's gone. It's torched. It's dead. We had some weeds we just needed to get rid of and we did so with glyphosate. Right here we've talked about Jonathan Green on this bank and we've kept more grass, retained more grass this year than we have in any season of growing fescue here in the hot, humid North Carolina. But over here to the left, as you guys can see, we've gotten a little bit of die off. And as I just mentioned, sometimes this is way worse in the past two seasons. It's not as bad down here, surprisingly, but it's sporadic. Now the grass I've got right here, I wanna keep because if it's got roots and if it's survived through June, July, and August in North Carolina heat by the road, don't wanna dig that up, don't wanna mess with it. So right around right here in this little section, and I'm not too far from the end of my driveway right here, so you guys can see, just right here in this probably, this section right here, I wanna take our pick and I wanna kinda of dig right here, and hopefully I don't hit any nuts edge or anything right here. This looks like it's just, uh, looks like it's grass, it's decent uh, fescue. So mainly in the areas around it, we wanna dig right here and we wanna find out what is under here. Um, is there rock? Are we gonna hit a lot of rock right here? I imagine that we will, but I don't know for sure. So let's take a section, take Mr. Pick, let's do some work, let's dig it out. So I'll do that here in a second and uh, we'll show you what I find in some of these areas where the grass has just died off. All right, so we're like, I don't know, 20, 20 swings in. The ground is soft. We don't have a lot of grass, but look at this. Just like what we thought, Rock City. We got rocks all over the place, lots of rock. We're getting into this area where, if I just clear this off, we're getting pebbles and rocks all over here. So here we got asphalt. We're about, you know, I don't know, a foot to the left, uh, give or take. And so rocks all over thus far. So I'm not going to do all of this, but I just want to see what is down here. And again, we're on the first, you, you know, two, three inches of topsoil. And look, we've got rocks all over the place. Our, our roots are trying to get around and compete with, you know, rocky soil. We, we've talked about it as a midweek quickie devotional that Jesus himself talked about rocky soil, that it's hard for the roots to uh, establish when it's in rocky soil. So that's exactly what we thought. And so a lot of this, you know, is when they probably laid this asphalt, we've got some runoff of the rock here, which is, you know, well, what are you going to do, Mr. Ferguson? Well, we could dig all of this up 
and put fresh dirt in and probably be okay and it would help a ton well we may do this section uh, as a test so far it's exactly what i thought we're about a couple swings in i'll go a little bit deeper not too much but let's see if it's even more rock is it going to get a little uh, less rocky and let's see what we get So the results are very in and very clear. It's just rock city. I mean, look at that. Rocks galore. Every time I take a swing, I'm hitting a rock and you can see the white marks and all those rocks in this small section as a sample that we've done. So, all right, Mr. Ferguson. So you've done about, you know, 30 whole swings with a pick. Good, good job, whatever. Um, and this little hole right here on the side of the road, what does that prove? Well, number one, um, you know, if we're truly wanting to completely get grass all the way up to the road. Uh, number one, is that like so important to me? No, not really. Would it make the lawn more appealing? Sure. Um, I think it would cut down on roots, or excuse me, cut down on weeds. We would have grass that would look nice all the way to the road, but we could just plan on, you know, you know, a foot to the right of the rope. Uh, we can plan, uh, plant there and leave the other as just, you know, runoff, whatever. Um, for walking or whatnot, but it just shows that there's tons of rocks just like we thought in the soil Right here on the edge. So we're not even if we can plant grass in the fall as you guys have seen in previous photos It takes you know, the grass pops up it establishes it's cool But just like you know what the Bible says just like what anybody in lawn care would tell you as soon as the roots you see this This is not that deep this is, you know, three, three, four inches deep and you got rock city. There's no way, you know, how did that grass last as long as it did? I don't know. But as soon as it's trying to go any deeper, there's, it's just rocks. I mean, you can't, you can't even dig. Look, there's like, there's like 15 rocks in my hand just in a handful as I'm getting down in here. And it's only getting worse and worse and worse and just rocks everywhere. So it's just the runoff from the road. It, it is what it is. I don't think it's worth the time and effort and the money to bring in bags of soil or whatnot and a machine because obviously I'm not going to pickaxe all this, you know, from left all the way to right and clear out all the rocks, put in new soil just so I can plant grass in a, you know, a foot um, from the road. I don't think that is worth my time and I don't have the money or really the desire to do that so we've proved something today though i'm going to fill this back in i know now and so what i can just say is you know where it's established more clearly we don't have a rock problem the roots are deep enough to survive it's made it three months of summer but on the edges we can plan in the fall time uh, it, it's going to stay nice and green and looking great and when it gets into winter It's going to look great and in spring it's going to be fine And then as soon as we start to roll in some 90s into some true North Carolina summer weather This section is going to get hit regardless of what I do if it doesn't have a proper root system It's not going to make it and that's just that's just facts um, Unless we totally renovate the edge of the road, which I don't think uh, for this home, I'm going to do this uh, right now. Um, it's just rock city. Let me know what your thoughts are below. Let me know if you've done this test in your lawn, if you're in a subdivision like me, and uh, what your guys' thoughts are or even suggestions. So now I have a giant hole back there to, uh, to fill in with rocks, and I don't want to do that. So um, uh, maybe, I don't know, I'll let you guys know what I do with this. Um, I may do a section enough to fill one of those uh, soil bags there. You know, I had the intention of, well, maybe I'll do the edge of the road, but that's a lot of work. Um, there's way more rocks. I thought if there was some big chunks or something, yeah, we could probably pick those out, but I don't think that's going to do uh, be what I want to do there. So I may do a section and do one bag and fill it in and maybe it'll help right here next to the driveway, but we'll see. So anyway, guys, anyway, guys thank you so much for tuning in today. I hope this has been slightly helpful or educational. It just goes to show you how much that uh, roots matter and how much the roots need a good, you know, three feet or so, you know, good amount of, of soil and not rocky soil. Um, just like what God's word says. That's why I wear my, and a lady at Dollar Tree was like, Jesus is my king. I like that shirt. Um, and he talks about it in the Bible. You know, a root system is important, important spiritually as well as in the lawn. Um, 
grass can't establish, it struggles if it don't have a good root system. So I'm gonna finish this off, fill in the hole, maybe dig a little bit and fill it in with good dirt. But thank you so much for tuning in today. We got our hands a little bit dirty here for a few seconds. Hope you enjoy the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you're not. We'll see you on Monday with another lawn care video from here in Central North Carolina. God bless. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Stop the, stop the, the outro music for those that keep watching, even when the outro music comes on. Maybe you're the only ones that'll see this, but I just had a better idea. So let me show you what my idea was. So we're filling this back in with some of the Scott's um, soil over here. Let me get out of the way so Amazon don't run me over. So way too many bags. I've already used three, I got two more. Um, so we're putting this back into the hole with some of the dirt that I took the rocks out of. But what I'm doing here, I've replanted some of the good grass that I shook out right here. Put these bad boys in there. I'm like, hey, why not? Let's sprinkle a little bit of Jonathan Green seed on this while I sprinkle in the other bag. I've kind of matted it down just a little bit because it was a deep hole. And uh, yes, I compacted it just slightly, but it's still breathable. Um, and it's going to, you know, uh, it, it's definitely low. You can see how low it is. I need another bag. But when I do this, what I'm gonna do guys is I'm gonna sprinkle some seed in this and water it. And let's see, you know, Kentucky, Texas bluegrass, maybe some of it will be in the handful that I'm putting here and we'll see what happens. We'll do this a little bit early and um, and just this small section. So we just gotta remember, you know, when we're doing pre-emergent, we're doing tenacity, we don't wanna hurt it. And so anyways, we're, we, we may just treat it like everything else. Um, we're just putting a little extra seed just for fun. So let's do it, let's see what happens and see if we get a little bit of growth right here in this little area. So guys, we decided to put the Jonathan Green down. This is day zero. It's right on the side of the road, as you can see. So it's very possible it could get run, up, run over by Amazon and other people. But the seed is down. It took four bags of the lawn soil, blended it in with a rake. Just got done watering it in the surrounding areas. Retransplanted some what looked like maybe fescue, maybe uh, Texas bluegrass into that area. So we'll keep an eye on it. I'm going to come out here in the morning. Tomorrow is our official water day that we're allowed to water. Uh, so I'll water it and for the next several days, try to hit it with the hose. And we're going to use this for something. I don't know whether it's to show you guys. Uh, let me know in the comments what you what you think we should use this for. We're doing it ahead of our major, you know, overseeding and tenacity plan. So we could grow some grass here and purposefully put tenacity on it um, at, you know, a week or two and say okay what does what happens to it um we could let it fully grow in just like it we just treat it like everything else and it's just ahead of the game um what do you want to use this little test plot for and uh, so let me know um, we can use it to maybe show you know show how long the solar green comes up compared to everything else because it's it's going to be about two weeks ahead of everything else so we could use it for several things i don't know i'll try to think about it let me know what your thoughts are below thank you for tuning in hope you guys will subscribe if you're not if you're not if you want diy lawn care here from central north carolina i'm hot and sweaty going to drink some water god bless you guys see you next time